Today is the feast of St. Matthias, one of the apostles. At siguro sa mga listahan ng mga santo, isa siya sa mga hindi sikat ng mga santo. Because in scriptures, before this event, we never heard of St. Matthias. And after his appointment, we never heard of him again. We just heard of him in scriptures when he was appointed as a replacement for Judas. But we consider him one of the great saints, one of the great apostles, despite the obscurity of knowledge that we have. And what does this feast of St. Matthias tell us? Firstly, it tells us that no one is indispensable. Walang taong hindi pwedeng palitan. Perhaps before, people looked up to the 12 apostles. Because among the followers of Jesus Christ, they were the chosen ones, the elite group. And it would seem that they were irreplaceable. No one could take their place. But then, Judas... He strayed away from the teachings of Jesus Christ. That is why he needed to be replaced. And secondly, it tells us that besides the fact that no one is indispensable, the Feast of St. Thomas tells us that no one is unworthy to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Walang taong hindi pwedeng maging disipulo ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Dahil hindi naman hinihingi na ikaw ang pinakamatalino, pinakamayaman, o pinakamagaling. Ano lang yung hinihingi para maging kapalit? He has to be a witness to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Kinakailangan, naroon siya nung mangganap yung katotohanan na si Kristo ay muling nabuhay. And many times we think of ourselves as unworthy because we do not have the necessary credentials. But then it is not our strength that makes us worthy to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, but it is the grace of God that makes us worthy to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. And what we know of Matthias was that he was someone who was always with Jesus Christ. Even before, hindi nga lang nababanggit yung pangalan niya, Pero na-witness niya lahat ng mga ginagawa ni Jesus hanggang sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. And that is what our gospel speaks to us about today. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. If we want to be his worthy disciple, we have to be remain at that we have to remain attached to him. And that is why Judas faltered because he separated himself from the vine. So if we want to have life, if we want to be a good disciple of Jesus Christ, we need to remain with him. We need to remain with his teachings. We need to remain in his love.